Uh, hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a Monster Legends Team War video uh, where we will be doing Team Wars. <laughs> uh, this isn't a live stream. That's you know, it's per its title says it's a video, so it's it's a video. <laughs> uh, I decided not to do a stream tonight because it's twelve twenty nine a.m. I know that's like a two hour difference to the latest time we stream, which is ten. I I just want to record, go to bed. I don't I don't plan on changing the thumbnail. I, it it saves me like I don't I don't have to change the thumbnail then. It's just there. Like uh, for the most part, whenever I do the stream, like sometimes it either a doesn't save the current thumbnail, like the Morgan, like the more Captain Morgan, uh, stream. I almost said Captain Morgan for, uh, Captain. But yeah, it, it didn't save for that, and I had to change that, uh, give or take a day or two later after realizing it hadn't saved. So, and or just me just forgetting period. Uh, so with this, I don't have to go back and bother with it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what's the other reason? Oh, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just tired. That's the, that's the other justification. I just don't feel like streaming right now. Uh, now this war in particular, I, I, I have garbage for Winged, but I hate Winged. Winged is one of my worst chapters. It seems to be terrible for everyone else, so I guess that, that kind of evens things out here, at least with this team camp or this enemy camp here uh so we should be able to do all of our attacks done fairly well to an extent at least that's what i hope to get done in this uh video this guy only has three coins left it's the only one running like maxed out monsters with like he's, he's this guy running a full like full speed at tomb with the team speed he only has three coins left <laughs> Yeah, it was a... Well, I guess it depends on the relics then, I guess. Like, the other ratings on the relics. Not too bad. Maybe, I don't know. We'll do this one. This one's really doable. You know why it's really doable? Despite Elvira being present, all I have to do is run my Kokora. That's all I have to do for this fight. I need to run Kokora in, like, the slowest damage dealing monster that I have and I can take full advantage of this <laughs> that's all I have to do to uh to win here it's literally all I have to do that's my only like that's all I have to do to win this fight see I, this this isn't a bad idea to run life on Things that have, like, passive skills, like Elvira has, like, AoE Evasion on turn 1. Just kinda, this kind of player is building life to support the that factor. Or, like, in, in terms of Elvira's case, it's, like, total blind. I guess the blind immunity, that's that's good when there's a, you know, a total blind war. Uh, or blind reliant war, so I think anything that really has light supports, I guess, is pretty blind reliant. Especially if you're running an invar. Uh, that's good for that aspect for, but for like necromancers. And I think this new, uh, upcoming war master, I forgot its, its name already, but it's the, the water one that gives freeze immunity. You know, that's, that's surprising. Hey, the water monster giving freeze immunity. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll get this done. So all I have to do is run Kokora. And I gotta run a really decent damage dealer at the very least. I'll be for sure able to damage the Kihaku right away. In fact, I don't. I don't think I have to worry about the Thedes pet. So let's see here. I could run. God, I wish my my uh, Lord Mammoth was ranked up. That would be a good thing to bring. Because, again, the, the best thing to bring to these Elvira fights are slow things. You want them to get the first turn. Even though they get their turn in, you know, like, like all but Dib, even if you go have slower monsters, they get their turn in. Eh, they don't They don't really get, like, that only works once with the Elvira. She doesn't actually have AoE evasion again. Though she does have light damage immunity, 
Like, like she she only takes dam like your team can only take damage from light damage, but it's not ranked up. Uh, so she doesn't have that for her team yet. So that's a thing. All of her skills are really reliant on you. You know your team having done damage to her because she has a bunch of heals too. Now, a few question here is what do I do? Do I actually want to run to deal with these problems? Um. Let's do... God, my damage dealers for water is just unflattering here. I'm basically running a support and... What else, What else should I run with this? Um, well, Kiyaku's just... Gar at, at this point, Kiyaku's just kind of garbage. Because all I have to do is do evasion. To either do evasion turn one... Or, uh, yeah, do evasion. I mean, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. Evasion turn one, and then just set up for the uh, the what you would call it, and go game for there. Um, should I just do blob. I feel like I should do like uh, I I kind of want to run a ranked up monster just so I d it doesn't die. But I need something to get rid of that stupid, stupid Elvira. <laughs> should I just run, the, maybe I should just run the Cryotan and just win by instant deaths. I think that's a, that's kind of a good strat because then he really can't win regardless. Like all I have to do is hit the the instant mega death with Cryotan and just not sustain him. I think that's how I win. <laughs> I, I think that's all I have to do, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's all I have to do. Between the double light, the double healing, uh, and the protection from Cryotan, what can this team really do to me? The, like, they, yeah, they can't do anything to me. <laughs> so this this should go well. I'll I'll get the uh, for just assured protection, just for the guaranteed three coins. Um, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put the healing potion on my Kokora here. This should work fairly well. I have little doubt this will just go in spontaneously bad for me. This shouldn't actually be bad for me. I don't I don't think I have to worry about anything here. Or at least I shouldn't. I think the only way I really lose this is if they kill Cryotan in spontaneously. Because he's my, he's my win, Cryotan's basically my win condition because he's my instant killer. Oh, but does, here's the question though, doesn't Elvira clean negative effects? Oh, she might do that. Oh, does she though? Oh, that's the thing. I think that she, does she? I, I don't really know. <laughs> I guess this is something I should look, ah, oh, God, I would look it up. I have to know the matchup. <laughs> Which, though, she has... She has the healing, yeah. She, she probably has something to remove it. Oh, but I could just Mega Freeze her again. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm still fine. I, I don't think I have anything to worry about. Because I, I can keep her frozen until... Until game. I don't think I have to worry about anything else. I have a couple ways of uh I have a couple ways of going about this in terms of what I want to do right away. That Kihaku actually isn't uh isn't ranked up at all. So I think my two Dini can actually burst that down. Again, Kihaku can't really do anything. If Kokora is present and it's faster, I I it can't really do much. Uh, I should probably kill Thedes. Maybe I should just kill Thedes' pet first because I don't actually want to lose. Oh, I could actually go. Well, let's do. Let's just do AOE Mega Freeze first. We'll do that, and that way we just have total assurity. But I think beyond that, we're fine. So we're gonna do Lord of the Beginnings here. AOE evasion to everybody. Well, I even set up AoE life regenerate away. 
So we we even have that now. We we already have the life regen up. And now we're gonna set up the the deny immunities. We have life regen. We have healing. It's it, yeah. It's over. It's already over, my boys. They done for. They done dunzo. They done dunzo. They can only help you so much, my boy. Uh, let's do the life regen skill. Let's kill the, uh, let's kill Thede's pet right away. Let's kill, let's just get that out of the way. If we get that out of the way, then we're just good. The layer trap. I've actually never really seen that function too well anymore. That doesn't work too good anymore. Scotty. Let's just put it on that. Yeah. 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 You're still frozen solid, boy. It's still frozen solid. Manual. Oh, it's got a wait. Oh, did they actually add the the quick button to this? Oh my God, they actually made it so it's faster now. Oh God, that's actually hard to watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it old school, my boys. Uh, what can Gakora actually do that could annoy anything? Oh, uh, long life. I guess life regen would be annoying. Yep. No more annoying stuff from you, sir. You can do actually a plethora of things here. We'll just go for the AoE immunities. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. This mattered not. Only one tusk. And that is a three coin victory, ladies and gentlemen. When a plan goes well. When a plan goes well. Long life. No, I can do... I already did trust the owl, so I'm receiving double... Yeah, she, she can't kill me, now. <laughs> death is... Death is non-existent at this point. Even with her stupid mega stun ultimate, she actually can't get rid of the bullshittery that is happening upon her. And that's the insta-death counter. And that's a victory. That is a shiny fake coin victory. Without any damage dealies, my boys. <laughs> Without any damage dealies. Victory. In the making. <laughs> uh, let's do this one next. So this is a possession-reliant fight. Oh, but I actually can have- I actually have something that's faster than his monster. So that's good for me. I think I can also run Talika here. This is pretty much another fight where I'm not running a damage dealer. I think it is. <laughs> I could just run Freeze for days. That's a good way of winning. Oh, but he, he has got the Inheritor. Oh, he's got buffed stats? Oh, that's crazy. I might not want to do that one. I would do that one if I still had my cryotan up. Or I, that's kind of what I'd want to do. Oh, dude, it has such a high life cap when it's buffed. That's disgusting. Oh my... <laughs> that's so disgusting. The life cap's so high. Is that a team life? Oh, I wonder if that's... Ew, that's got a lot... Of, that's got a large life cap. Maybe if I had, like, a possessor... Oh, I, I do have a possessor. I have... Oh, I don't. 
because Nishan. Why you know? Why isn't Nishan's why why isn't Nishan's pet in the wing book? It's a bat. Why is why is General Nishan? Can can anyone answer me that in the comments below? Why is Nishan himself is in the wing book, but his pet is not? <laughs> Why is why is his pet not in the wing book? It's bonkers. <laughs> so that's so crazy. I don't understand that logic in the slightest of senses. I just don't. It doesn't make sense to me. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh, you know what I wanted to uh here, we're gonna hook up uh our gal uh, I finally decided who I want to give uh, my 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 current set of seven and eights to. I'm gonna give it to uh, my uh, my rank five one oh like one oh well it's not rank five but you get my point. Uh, she's in a lot of books so I'm gonna give it to her. Bada bing, bada boom. I think uh, Brynhilda is a very versatile monster. For a lot of th reasons. She does damage. She I means she has like a 70 damage skill. She has a really strong possession. She kind of does everything that you would want in a monster. Uh, obviously the possession's not all too strong. Like in terms of the AoE sense. But the single target possession's really good. But it also gives that target double damage. Uh, I, I think that skill also does damage. She she's just a really good monster in my opinion. Doesn't, she doesn't really do anything bad. I, I think Brynhild is really good. Because she doesn't do anything really bad. Oh, she also has fantastic relic slots. Just, just fantastic. Let's give her some masks. For that double assured, you know. You guys already know what I want to give her. You know. You know. That I know. You know. I was thinking about giving it to Cloud, but I think one of his books, I he's also I think he's in four books too. But one of his books is the exclusive books, I believe. So that's basically not a book. Even though it is a book, it's not a book. Cuz I think he was he's exclusive, right? Yeah, he's exclu yeah, he's an exclusive. Exclusive doesn't count as a book. It is a book, but it doesn't count as a book because it never comes up in more, ever. There's a good reason for that because it counts as, again, it's an exclusive content. So that means most of it's going to pay for or just YouTube stuff. So it doesn't see much of the light of day because, you know, again, exclusive stuff. What do you guys feel on that, by the way? What's your guys' opinion on that? Are you okay with that not being a thing are you would you be okay with it if it is a thing let me know in the comment sections below <laughs> i wish i had a good winged damage dealer like i just don't have that it's just not available to me oh i actually can run brynhilda here that's fantastic i don't have actually Oh god, that bothers me so much. <laughs> that bothers me so astronomically much. I don't have a good damage dealer for for wing. That that bothers me so much. I'd rather just run den deniers for all these fights here. <laughs> How fast is that Kakora? Not fast enough for my Talika. Uh, I was gonna say not fast enough for my Talika. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, it's not fast enough for my Talika. But I don't do any with this comp. I don't do any damage. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do any damage. Like there, there'd be no damage dealing. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a huge problem. Uh, can I live without it? It'd only be for that turn, though. It's not. It's not attainable. Deny. Oh, what else do I got? Oh, I got Kalik. I guess I could bring Kalik for the 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 backup. I uh, she also like uh, Brynhilda also did nice, so I I think that's fine. 
I think I have enough deny to actually win this fight. So I'm gonna win the, probably win this fight solely on deny grounds. Like it's not gonna be anything but deny. I think that's fine. I win as long as I'm faster. Which I am. And uh, I missed the double stun. That's very, very rare. Very little do you actually miss the double stun. So let's go with this, with uh, the mind of actually landing this. Yeah, we landed it. We done landed it, boy. I'm gonna freeze everybody. Everybody, yeah. Freeze, boy. Freeze. May freeze target gains damage. Oh, is this a single target freeze? She has a single target freeze and an AoE freeze. <laughs> well, I, I know about the AoE freeze. I didn't know about this thing. Yeah, let's do that one. That sounds good to me right now. We could do the single target freeze on... I guess for a damage control. Oh, yeah, let's do it on the enemy Brunhilde here. And when we get the damage... We oh, that's beautiful. That is, that is majestically beautiful. Oh, dude, I got my ult. Oh, dude, I, I think this was pretty much game-saving, this ult here. Because all of them are getting a turn again. <laughs> I just got lucky. Thank you, thank you, luck guts. <laughs> it's like, any of those guys in the comments is like, Oh, Dave, you only won this fight because you got light. Yeah, there. <laughs> I, I concur. I concur. I very much so concur. <laughs> very rarely does that happen to me, though. Very rarely. In fact, it's the opposite way. Usually when I'm winning a fight, like, shit goes wrong for me. So RNG God was nice to me right now. <laughs> it's usually a... <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually not nice to me. Okay, so... Now that I kind of have everything... Uh, I, I might want to do... I might as well do the stamina regen. <laughs> I don't even know why they even bothered adding poison resistance to Talika's skill. That sucks. It's so bad. <laughs> There's no reason for it. So now that I have the uh, damage boost. Uh, oh god, she even gives herself... Dude, she, Brynhilda's so good. Brynhilda's so good. It's, it's a really good monster. <laughs> it's the higher double damage. It's really good. Look at all this. I don't even run. In fact, I, I guess I did. Oh, I earned the single. Yeah, it's a single target position. May freeze all targets. I kind of want to go with that. God, that does so much damage. I could go for. Yeah, let's just do the AoE freeze. Let's not even do the the double damage right now. I don't need to do it. <laughs> yeah, let's just recharge. Watch, these guys are going to get their ult, too. If I miss this, and, uh, if I actually miss this, uh, I might actually get ulted. That's a high probability, that's a high probability of that happening. So I can actually go for, I'll go for the kill on the enemy Brynhilde. Bada bing, bada boom. And I think I can freeze again. Single target freeze this, and then single target's done. Brynhild is so amazing. Brynhild is amazing. <laughs> Look at all this shenanigans. I think an another reason why she's a really good team speed holder besides the, the books, uh, due to the fact she can also, like, freeze, like she had a AoE freeze and a single target freeze, I, I think that adds on to her playability. It also gives her damage boost, like self damaging boost too. Uh, given the fact she also has like a seventy damage skill, that's amazing. Like it's spammable too, my boy. So if you actually do the single target freeze and then the single target possession, you, you're you're pretty much guaranteed to set up for a an instant kill, which is amazing. 
I can actually go for the AoE for the AoE stone here. I don't know why I called it a phrase. But uh yeah, it's dead. We'll do the stamina regen. And then we'll go for recharge. We'll go for seventy damage skill. And completely kill that man. <laughs> we done killed it. We done killed it, my boys. We killing it. We're doing good. Really good. Now all the rest of these fights are charmless fights. Personally, I, well, actually, I do. I, I'd be lying to say if I didn't know how I'd feel about that. I do know how I feel about that. I hate that. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a Thedes fight. Now, here's the true question. Can I actually win this Thedes fight? I mean, I've had really good one mystery with it. So I, I'd run the Hydratilla, I'd run the Kihaku. What would be my third monster at that point? I guess Invarv? Invarv would kind of be my next option. And or my Uriel. No, let's go, I was going to say go Uriel. But then we can add the blinds too. Oh, but he's running an Arc Knight. So that doesn't really matter. Um, I wish I had burst damage, because he's just going to use the, the greater healing. No, that wouldn't really do me any good. If he's just, uh, healing up all the damage. Yeah, that has three procs. Maybe I should do, like, another fight. One that doesn't have Charmless, and... Because Charmless is an inst it's either going to be instant win or instant lose. That's how Charmless fights go. You are either instantly winning or you are instantly losing. One or the other. It's never, like, the same Z. You are either winning or you're losing that fight entirely. So... The situation with this fight is... Like, I can, I don't have any damage dealers. Which isn't good. I mean, I have charm, yeah, I have my Charmless, but my Charmless isn't really... Well, I guess I could... Uh, I did get 25 gems from the, uh, the thing. I think I'll use it on that. Yeah, let's just get the, the relic on, or the rune on that done. Do I still... Oh, excuse me, do I still have that level 8 rune? What much gems do I have for? Uh, seven. Oh, that's a seven. Didn't I have like a, an eight to give that? I guess I didn't. I guess it was just uh, six. Is that what I want to give it? It's not as much as... Uh, a 10 or anything. I feel like with Chomless, you kind of want to run high quality. Like, at least an 8. Mm. I think this works for now. I won't be bothered by it for now, but at some point, I kind of want to put that an 8 on it. It won't take that much gems to remove it. So I guess I'm not bothered by it. Oh, it might be... Okay, he's not actually faster than, uh, than that. Oh, but I'm going to have to give that up. The... My Charmless would go first. But if I miss that Kihaku, I think I just lose. That's kind of what I'm putting myself on the spot there for. What's the speed on that? Oh, that's that's really fast. Um, yeah, that would be. I think that's my one of my few lose conditions here. Is if I miss the Kihaku, but to be fair, I think that just goes with any defense nowadays. Is with hardened. And also on a side note, I will only ever use Charmless on Charmless defenses. 
because that's just how I roll. That's just my code of honor. Call it a code of honor. Like, I, I don't like, personally, I just don't like using Voltic monsters. But, uh, you know, since everyone worked really hard in getting Charmless, I swore to only use the sword when the other man has also brought the sword. Thus turning it into a Charmless battle. <laughs> uh, let's put the, uh, the Sustain Relic on here in the case of the event something doesn't go right for us. And let's get the, the healing mask. I kind of want to run... Oh, maybe I should run stamina mask. Uh, it's... Yeah. Stamina drain would increase our survivability. Okay, so with Charmless, it, it doesn't matter if you do run healing mask because it's just going to burst you down anyway. So I think I'm going to pick up the drain mask. I think it's better. Because you're, you're draining its turns like like the you're more likely to live through some like a charmless onslaught if you drain in stamina than you are to uh you know words <laughs> um you're more than likely to live through a charmless onslaught if you drain a stamina rather than just healing your life right away because within two hits especially doing weakness he'll kill you anyway like he's for the most part he's a two hit kill monster that's just how charmless works like he'll kill you in two hits with the, if he does the setup skill he will he will kill you within two hits that's usually how he works usually i think that's given if the monster is running uh words if it's running the uh Oh, if given uh, that, that's given if like no one's running any sustain relic, like the the armor specifically. If they're not running armor, then you have a really good chance of just clearing it there and then. I don't know how well he does in killing fatted, like in spontaneously. If the enemy has two, uh, level thirty gold heavy duty plates, I don't know how the the score of the fat goes. I think with that, I think Charmless has to invest all of his time in killing it. I'm pretty sure he could still kill uh, Fatted with double plates. I wouldn't see why he wouldn't be able to, given how much damage he does to a single person. He'd probably just switch to the weaker targets at that point. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the team we're going to use against this count. All right, so loose conditions. I oh, I'm actually I'm not. Am I? Oh yeah, I'm faster. I'm faster. I'm faster. Like two hundred points faster. Uh, loose conditions, real quick. I lose if I miss the deny on that Kihaku, like period. Oh, and and if I miss the deny on Charmless, that's also the other loose condition here, which isn't fun. But yeah, someone an like answer that question in the comment section below. Why is, why is the? I uh... guess I could bring Uriel. Let's do that. And if I somewhat survive, if he goes for my Charmless first, my uh, my relics will proc, and then I can revive with Diablo. And we can try again. Alrighty, Skillus v Skillus. Let's see who has the better Skillet, good sir. There we go. Mine was the one that was able to move. So by law, I I instantaneously won. Given the the rules of Charmless, first one to thrust, <laughs> the first one to thrust, first wins, <laughs> and I get to th do the first. <laughs> this monster's so dumb. <laughs> this monster's so dumb. Ah, oh, yes, the healing mask. I'm actually, this is actually really convenient. Uh, I will say this is really convenient because he, this guy gets to, this kind of showcase why I think you might as well run the, the draining stuff. You can see all I'm doing is just killing this thing at this point. Yeah, that's dead. <laughs> dead. Oh, I actually missed. That's actually really huge. I can't believe, I, that's actually really bad I missed that. Oh, that's extremely bad. That's really bad I missed that. 
I'm actually out of stamina. That's fine. I have to recharge. Oh, but he's gonna do... Yeah, that's not good at all. Oh, can I could just kill that? I can. I just will kill that then. There we go. No, I just went. Now I just won for sure. No, this is just the uh, cleanup. No, it's just cleanup. This is this is game. Yeah. Even got the healing pulp. Literally, <laughs> the healing poke, <laughs> the healing prog, uh, and that's just game. Yeah. You know, just alt. There we go. Charmless should be banned from all team war occasions. It's just too good. It's so dumb. It, it's so dumb. <laughs> you can't tell me this. <laughs> uh, this is a straight up uh, a possession fight right here. If I run things that are immune to possession, I'd, I'd have a better odds, I guess. Mm. God, I wish I had like damage. I don't. I don't really have any damage here. Like I have damage, but it's it's not good enough damage for the situation. I don't know why I'm still on this one. I have to do another one. Cause I can't do that one. Given the laws of D. I think the rest of these fights are actually skillless fights, so... I guess I have a few options at that point. I could either go for... Yeah, it's, it's all charmless fights at this point. Now, if I did the charmless fights, obviously the, the rule with that is if I miss, I lose. I could also run, you know, the stamina draining stuff. But I, I'm still guaranteed to lose a coin at that point, I think. Like, that's a guaranteed coin loss. Um, I think I'll just do... I, ju I think I'll just do... These two. Or... I'd kind of have to do... Yeah, I think I just kind of have to do these two. I have to, I can't do the, I can't do the charm. I, I will for sure lose the charmless fights. For sure, that's just how charmless works. So I have to do this fight. We'll run the, oh god, he's just gonna destroy Kiyaku if it's, <laughs> if it just winds up being that occasion where, like, it just doesn't do anything. Um... Let's run. Well, given the monster I'm running right now with, you know, with Master Oshi here. Um, if he goes for Lord of Beginnings turn when I lose, which he will probably do. When does a Kakora never do, ever do that? And if he goes for the other one, I, that's, that's also a dead, he just becomes a dead monster. So I might, I want to use it on the other, I'd rather use it on the other matchup. I think that, that might actually be better too. So I'll use it on this fight. The other monster is going to have to be something that's immune to possession. Oh boy, if he possesses my Kihaku, that's not good. I guess I could run... I guess I could run my bow tie. Ah, oh, but there's, there's no damage with that. There's honestly, <laughs> there's no damage with that. You see, if, if my wing book wasn't so bad, then this wouldn't be too much of a problem for me.
Um. Let's do. Guess the Kakara fight. Actually, I'd rather just go and do. Let's just go into this fight. We for sure win if the enemy doesn't go for. Or like he misses with the possession. I think that at this point I'm just worried about the possession landing than anything else. Uh, let's put on the... I always like to run the silver potion because it has an easier proc. And we'll run the, the armor. This just gives double assurity that Mr. Abel lived through something more likely than anything else here. I don't think we'll get the first punch. So that's... Meh. I don't know how I personally feel about that, but that's just how it is. Um, we could run Recharge Banner on Invive. We'll do that. More so specifically for our Kihaku than anything else. 34 points. That's a lot. That's enough to get Kihaku moving, I think. Uh, let's just see how this goes now. None of his other monsters, uh, besides the Inherit, well, I guess so. That, so basically, Cryotan's not my major concern here. It's just more so this thing. It's my only concern at this point. Oh, but if I took the time to actually... Put a team speed, maybe put like a team speed on him. I think I actually get first punch. I kind of want to do that. Let's do that. I think I had like a six team speed somewhere. Uh, I think I, I should probably make sure before I do that. I don't want to waste three gems and not actually have a six to give it. Oh, I actually don't have anything to give it. Uh, how much was that? Only by 4%. Let's see here. What, I, what other options do I have for winked? Oh, what a gross stuff. Um, I could run my knee shot. Run him full. I, I know this sounds really disgusting. <laughs> His name is really disgusting, but <laughs> uh, I know that sounds really disgusting. But you know, he already has turns anyway. But. Let's do that. Let's see how much speed I actually get. If I, I wonder if I get enough for that point. So we're gonna run Super Edge Lord here. Oh my God! I've never used you before. I have never used Super Edge Lord before. He's so edged right now, my boys. <laughs> After removing his gold turns, I'm giving him one. <laughs> It's not that important. It's nothing nearly too big. Now I'm pretty sure if the uh you know I get hit, it's just gonna I don't think I'm gonna run the healing mask. There's really no point. I'm, I might as well run draining stat the draining mask. Uh we'll run the banner. Let's get the uh, old bannerino on Super Edge Lord here. I think this should be enough speed to actually go first, and I want that. That means very much to me. It's very critical that I actually get to go before that, uh, that monster. Alright, so here's Super Edgelord's first battle. That name's very, very edgy, I know. Have you guys seen his blade? It's very edgy. It's got, it's got really sharp edges, my boys. Really sharp. These right, guys got a lot of life. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Uh, let's do the guaranteed one first. I 
I actually missed on the, uh, whatchamacallit there. It's pretty good. Mm. Oh, he's actually, you, you should be really affected by the, uh, DOTs here. We'll do a burning first. Let's get the higher DOTs on. That should be first and foremost priority. Did I actually land the... I didn't. Oh, got the Mega Freeze. Mega Freeze. Louise, it's a Mega Freeze. It's the bee's knees. <laughs> Jeez. Gotta watch out for that Mega Freeze. Oh, shit. Somebody hired me for their hit jingles. <laughs> she got the soul armor. Got the soul armor. Got to recharge. I guess that was kind of a waste. I could do the stamina. Actually, I can do stamina drain here. Stamina leak. And just uh, completely miss that. Give nightmares. We should actually take more stamina since he has more. Yeah, not enough to make it worth it. Oh, I actually just lose here. <laughs> It's not good at all. I'm gonna get destroyed by that inheritor. That's the thing that's going to kill me. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get alt here. That'd be really bad. Please don't get alt sir. <laughs> Please don't kill me with your alt. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm dying from DOT currently, but at least that's not the thing that's going to kill me. Mm. Oh, the recharge. Oh, and you got all too. That's really bad, actually. That's thunder damage, isn't it? Mm. It's not good. <laughs> oh, you got double turn? What? You got it twice? <laughs> this guy got it twice. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding That He got it, dude. He got it twice. He got it twice. I mean, I lost anyway, but dude, he got it twice. <laughs> he got it twice. Oh my god. You're kidding. Twice in a row? For show? That's a KO. <laughs> At least he had a cool afro. <laughs> Dude, somebody hired me for their lyric symbol, seriously. But, uh, no, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. I could do... This one next. I could run my area. I could run Invarve and I could run Frostbite. I think Frostbite's a good idea here. Mm. It would have been if the arc name wasn't actually all that fast. But this is like 130, it does get a little bit over the other one. At that point, I'm just worried if he'll kill it. Really? That's my damage dealer. What do I got for water monsters? Could do H2O. Am I still slower than the other guy? Mm. 
Mm. Oh, isn't Thedes in Good Legions? No, nah, it wouldn't make sense if she was because of her backstory. If you actually looked at, like, Hydratilla's backstory, Thedes is actually a really, really, really mean lady. <laughs> Not the nicest person in the world, I'll tell you that much. She's, she's done some pretty, pretty questionable things there. Um, now, at that point, it's just uh, Arknight. I'm more so worried about him alcoing my warden than anything else. Um, I just won't be able to get a deny in period. Oh, I think I could run my Hydratella though. Hang on a second. I want to try and... You know, I'll just get a gem real quick. I'll get a big old single gem. From something. What can I get a single gem from? I just need a gem. Because all I'm missing is one. Need one gem, please. Um, how many fights is that? Oh, that's a lot of fights. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's do... It's a charmless fight. Charmless. I think this is my last doable one. I either have to do that or this Kakara fight. This ends one of two ways, if anything. Uh, no point to running H2O here. Oh, I could get Mega Froze or Mega Freezed here, which isn't good. And he's got the damage rune. Mm. That's kind of the, the best options here. Yeah, that's the one I have to do. I have to do this one. I don't have a, a gem to get that last attack in. I gotta do all my attacks right now. So I guess I'll just try this with the best of what I have at the moment at this time. Um... I guess we'll run the Vadi Annoy for just maximum security, I guess, you could say. We'll try to really hard here to not die. So running a life rune would be kind of a good good option here. Or like a life rune monster. We're not getting really first punch anyway, so it, it doesn't matter that much. I think a potion and the amulet will help us here. I don't think we, I actually don't think we need the, well, we're going to bring it anyway. It's it's good for that initial turn because the the recharge won't actually proc until the, uh, these two Goombas move. They get the move. I think I have like a, okay, I was going to say I have like another life banner, but that's not true. Here, we'll just stack that real quick. Put one on Inver. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Do I have, like, a rejuvenation? Yeah, I'll run this just to run it. I guess I'll just stack with other things that we have. I'm not too sure about this fight personally, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think Talika actually goes before because of the, the boost. So I think I might just straight up lose the fight. But it's my high, higher chances of winning, I think, than the other ones. I got stunned. I'll just zoom by it. Alright, so he gets to move. Um, Didi's will probably... Oh, you know what? Didi's might actually go for her buff. Uh, if she does that, then, I mean, it'd be good for my team because they get their stamina back, but I don't really need it. Uh, 
I want to go for the possession on her damage dealer. I just want to control that. Because she's going to go for the buff here. Or not. She'll go for the damage, I guess. Recharge. I could go for the blind. I think I'm going to go for that on Talika. Okay, I got the blind on Talika. I'm going to go for AoE heal. Which was probably a waste because Invar is going to... Well, actually it's not a waste. I don't think it was a waste. Okay, never mind. It was a complete waste. <laughs> uh, oh, she's got precision up too. Alright, we'll just do this. See how this goes. Oh, it's just gone. Just gonzo. I might want to get rid of that. Can I get rid of that? Is that something that I can remove right now at this time? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's something I can kill right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can get rid of it. Kill it. So I have my life regen up and I have my stamina regen. Plus I got the potion fired up. Ah, but that's ruined when that happens. <laughs> that gets destroyed when uh, I get out there. That doesn't help me in the slightest. Um... Thedes can't go for anything major, I believe. And she has to recharge. Yeah, I set up the life regen here. Oh, I gotta recharge though. But, oh, this might be good. Because I'm stunned and the I don't have the, the, the healing up. And I think that's just game. Yeah, this is game. <laughs> and did I get that war like nine coins? That's not bad. Nine coins isn't too bad. Nine coins, yeah. Let's say nine coin victory. Good job, guys. Good job. Good war. Good war. Uh, yeah, that was it. That's it for this video. Um, I'm sorry for the lack of content as of late. I've just been eh, busy per se uh, with stuff. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Sunday. And another thing is I, I don't really have anything different to stream. Uh, like consistently, I've been just streaming ammo. I, I kind of want to do other stream stuff, but, uh, I gotta get my account renewed for PS, PlayStation Plus, I mean, or, you know, PlayStation, you know, 4, I gotta get that renewed, uh, I gotta find a new games on Steam to play, yeah, it's just something I have to do, and, you know, just PS4 too, um, Destiny 2 is free this month, I might play that Sunday, maybe, I don't know. Depends if I want to, if I'm gonna renew it or not. Yeah, it's uh, I plan on doing a stream Sunday, so come watch it if you want to see it. Uh, I don't know what I'm streaming Sunday. I might just stream a bunch Sunday. That's really about it. I got like Sunday and Monday off, so I might be very active Sunday and Monday. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'm Did the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.